A lot of what I do in Figma from day to day is what I call screenshot hacking. This is where I take screenshots of existing apps, paste those into Figma, and then I start pasting and cropping and hacking them together to create a new UI design based on the existing pieces. This is a really quick way to build a mock-up. And so in today's video, I'm gonna show you nine techniques that I use for screenshot hacking that are gonna help you to make mock-ups really fast. I'm gonna take a screenshot of this window and then paste it into Figma. The first tip is to use my Have plugin. When you paste a screenshot in from a 2X display into Figma, it comes in twice as big as you need it to be. If you use my Have plugin, you can really quickly resize those. I have a video all about this on my channel linked in the description. The next tip is cropping images. This is the basis for most of the other tips here. It used to be that you had to double click, then choose crop, and then use these handles to crop images in Figma. But they've more recently added a way to do this that's way faster. You just hold down the command key and then resize from the edge and that will crop the image. And you can see here when I don't hold command, it just resizes it. The next tip is to duplicate and isolate. So a lot of what I do when I'm hacking these screenshots is to duplicate the entire screen with command D and that's gonna put it right on top of the old one. Now when you crop in from the edge, it's almost gonna look like nothing's happening. And now I just crop in from all the sides to isolate the element that I wanna move around. So you can usually just do a rough crop around the element that you want, and then you can move it around. I left behind a little bit of a border here, so I'm just gonna zoom in and make sure that gets cropped off. But the extra background doesn't really matter because it just blends in. When you isolate something like that, and then move it to a new location, it leaves behind a copy. So the next te technique is to block things out. That just means you hit R, draw a rectangle, and then hit Control C to bring up the eyedropper tool, which will allow you to quickly sample a color nearby to find the color matching the background so you can block that thing out. So if I don't wanna see this little placeholder here, just draw a rectangle around it, sample the background color. If I don't wanna see this title, draw a rectangle around it, sample the background color. Now on Twitter, I really don't like seeing this sidebar with the news here, so I'm just gonna block that out and see what this would look like. And maybe I'll extend that down to cover up the direct message little pop-up as well. All right, but this search box that I isolated, it's too wide to fit here where I wanna put it. So the next tip is to split and resize. And again, you're gonna duplicate and then crop in from the left side and then crop in from the right side. And now you can just bring those two halves together and you've got a smaller version of whatever it was. Then you can group those and this is gonna work a lot better. All right, now I wanna use that split and resize concept to make this window a bit narrower. But I've got so many different layers here now that I can't just crop this like one image because it's, um, it's a bunch of different layers. So you can see if I crop in, it leaves behind that big white box. And there's other stuff over here that, that is visible as well. So what you do is select all of these things, all this junk, use Command Option G to put it all in a frame. Once it's in a frame, make sure that clip content is on. And now you can crop this as if it were an image. You just resize in from the side and you can see here that it's cropping it. So I'll crop this in a bit. And then for the background, I wanna do the same thing. But notice that as I resize this, it's pushing the content away. If you run into this issue, just hold Command, and that will ensure that only the frame resizes and the content doesn't move. Similar to cropping an image, it's the same shortcut, you just hold Command. Next, I wanted to point out something you need to be careful about. When you're dealing with a screenshot or something that you've cropped, and the space around that element is kind of a roughly cropped or roughly screenshotted thing, it's not gonna be perfect alignment. So if I wanted to show this little location bar centered within this frame, and I go up here and click the center alignment buttons, it's not gonna be actually centered because the crop that I have around this thing doesn't perfectly center the location bar within it. So in these cases where you need to align something, I think the easiest way is just to zoom in and make sure that you crop it um, more precisely so that you get right to the edge. And now you're gonna be able to use the alignment tools to ensure that it's actually centered. The next thing is you often want to add a border or a drop shadow to these things, but you can see here that that doesn't look good at all because it's, it's got this extra area around it. And even if I were to crop in tightly on the edge, the corners are still going to look wrong. So there's a couple ways to deal with that. You can increase the radius, but here if I, if I increase it to match the same radius, you can still see some pixelation come through on the edge, which doesn't look good. So you can crop in a little bit extra, and that works for some things. But for this narrow bar, it's kind of obvious that I've made it too narrow. So instead I'll use another technique, which is just to draw a little box in the corner, sample the nearby color to make sure that those corners are filled with the solid color. And I can use my corner radius that I added rather than the corner radius that's in the bitmap image. The next tip is to use the opacity shortcuts in Figma to quickly align things. 
So if I use the isolate technique here, and I want to isolate uh, one of these buttons, and let's say I want this one to appear um, higher up right here, it's hard to align it. How do I know it's spaced just right? I think the quickest way is just to lower the opacity so that you can see through it. And the quickest way to do that is to use Figma's shortcut. You can press any of the number keys. Five will set it to 50% opacity. Six will set it to 60% opacity. Seven, 70%, and so on. So I use you know six, seven, or eight, and then you can see through this, and you can zoom in, and you can line it up with whatever's behind it that you're covering up. Then you can zoom back out and press zero to set the opacity back to 100%. So if you're using screenshots, you want to see through it temporarily, just hit five and then hit zero to go back.